Whenever I make a kit bash video, whether it's one of these guys or talking about kids, bits and proxies for Iron Warriors, Night Lords, Empress Children, whatever, I get these kinds of comments telling me I should just be 3D printing everything. But I think 3D printing it's kind of cheating when you're kit bashing. Because setting myself the limits of only using Games Workshop bits creates a sort of problem to solve. It, it makes me, it forces me to only stick with Games Workshop bits and I can't just come up with whatever I like and then have it printed exactly the way I imagined it. It's quite the opposite. I imagine something and then I have to figure out how I'm going to get there. If I could just model whatever I like and then 3D print exactly what I came up with, then there's, there's lots of skill there, there's lots of challenge there in the actual modeling part, but there's no challenge in kit bashing. If you could just make anything you can come up with, then where's the fun in that? I get that there's fun in modeling models, in printing models, in 3D printing cool bits and pieces, but 3D printing whole models? Ah, that just sounds wrong. That's not kit bashing. Now, I like to set myself these limits. And it's kind of the same as you see on other YouTube channels where people say, okay, let me see if I can paint a whole army in 24 hours. And then the, the sort of challenge is, the, the, the problem to solve is to make it as good looking as possible in 24 hours. Like everybody can paint an army in 24 hours. You take a spray can, whoop, done, it's painted. Well, it's primed, but hey, counts as painted, right? But for these guys, they set the challenge and then they try to do it as well as possible. I've done that myself with some of my older videos where I said, okay, 10 paints or less for a paint scheme, like this Cadian. I painted this guy with less than 10 paints, and I think the result is really good for 10 paints or less. It is not a great painted mini, it's not a fantastic result, it's not beautiful, it's not gonna win a golden demon, but for 10 paints or less, it's pretty good. And this is something that a beginner can pick up, they only need to buy 10 paints and they can get started. That was the goal of my video, that was the limit I set myself. And so when I'm kit bashing, I like to set myself these limits as well only Games Workshop bits, no 3D printed models. Little bits, maybe, uh, we, can, we can get to that later. Now with that creative challenge comes something else that I really like, and I know this is gonna sound awful, but I just like showing off my knowledge of Games Workshop minis. That's what I like showing off. I like looking at a miniature and go, ooh, that looks like a very good base for this or that kit bash. Like, this Stormcast Eternal looks like a perfect base for a chaplain. Or this guy for a Master of Executions. That's how I like to look at miniatures. I look at them and immediately I feel like, ooh, that, I can do something with that. Ooh, it's, it, that has sort of the base for this or that. I did it with this guy over here. This is Kretusa the Crone Seer from the Daughters of Cain from Age of Sigmar. At least the wings and the body are from that and the base is. I saw that, I saw those wings and I immediately went, oh, Zinch. That's, that's like, I mean, those are some amazing angelic wings as well. This is something for blood angels, guys. Get on these. This for your Sanguinor looks amazing, I think. But I looked at it and went, okay, that is Jeans. That is Thousand Suns. That is some kind of demon. And I like that. I like looking at miniatures on the Games Workshop website and just going, ooh, what can I do with that? For example, this Brood Terror. How about if I turn it into something the size of Gasgul and make it a massive war boss? Pain boy based. Sounds like a cool kit bash. I have this guy over here, Radukar the Beast, because I'm collecting my Soulblight Gravelord, uh, Gra Soulblight Gravelords Vampire Army for Age of Sigmar. And as I'm assembling this guy, as I finish this guy, I have him standing here on my desk, waiting for me to have time to paint. And I look at him and I think, he kind of looks like a space wolf, doesn't he? Like that upper body? Give him a little eye patch, give him a nice round shield and an axe or a spear. You've got yourself a kind of demonic space wolf over here. How about that? That is the fun I have with kit bashing. And you see it with other people as well when it comes to paints. Like you have probably, if you go to your local game shop, you have your local famous painter there, the guy that paints amazing miniatures. And you can go to him and say, okay, what would you use to get this result? Or I'm looking for a paint that does this or that. And the guy can just tell you, oh, you need that one, that one, that one. You use this first, you dry brush that, then you wash it with that, and then you get this and this and this. And you follow that recipe and you get what you like. That guy is probably really into painting and he feels proud about knowing those paints. Same way that I feel proud about knowing all the bits and pieces that I've used. If, I, if somebody says, okay, I wanna do something like this, I say, oh, you need to get those bits and that you can find them in that box. And you got three of them in that box and you got two of them in that box. That's why I like making these videos about the kids, bits and proxies for chaos armies in particular, because I feel 
they are really good for kit patch material. Now, what are the Night Lord bits that you can find all over the Games Workshop range? I'm kind of proud of knowing these ranges so well, of knowing what sort of miniatures there are and knowing what sort of opportunity they give when I set myself those limits for my kit bashes. And how about sculpting then? Green stuff. I mean, I like a bit of green stuff. I'm really bad at sculpting it, but I like it. I used it on most of these miniatures here to get something done. This guy is a really old kit bash, but you know, a little bit of a fur cloak on his shoulder pad. Green stuff for the rest. I used to just fill in the gaps. I'm not really good at sculpting. I should learn. I think I feel I should learn to at least sculpt some hair and some beards. If I want to do that space marine, space wolf from Raduka the Beast, I got to learn to do some kind of hair. Do I feel like green stuff is cheating? No, not really. Because I'd still be sculpting it myself. I'd still be doing it myself. I still have my own creativity there to put in there. But then why is sculpting a 3D model and printing it cheating? I don't know. My, I, I'm, maybe I'm, I don't know. I just set these limits and, and they're very arbitrary. And I completely accept that they're terribly arbitrary. And I also admit, I'm a hypocrite. This guy here, one of my latest kit bashes, one that I really love. It is my Lord Solar for my own army, my Death Call of Krieg. This is not just a one-off kit bash. I have a whole Krieg army that I'm working on slowly, bit by bit. This here is a Forge World model. The banner is from the Black Templars. The rest, these bodies, these guys in there, those are all 3D printed bits. The whole model is pretty much 3D printed. There's nothing, only that arm with the binoculars is from Games Workshop. The rest is all 3D printed. And somehow I'm okay with it. <laughs> because, I don't know, I just felt like this is what I want. I know where I get these bits. I could have used Forge World bits. Let's put it like that. I could have used Forge World bits for those bodies. But they're extremely expensive and they're Forge World quality. And I already suffered through assembling the vehicle, which is a Forge World bit. I didn't want to do that again for those minis. So, I don't know, am I a hypocrite? Is it wrong to use 3D printed bits? I'd love to have your guys' opinion. How do you feel that? If you're kit bashing, if you're converting, how do you feel about wholly 3D printed models and just using bits and pieces that are 3D printed? Or are you a purist and is it Games Workshop and nothing else?